I want to tell you guys about jinns because, so according to the Quran, what surah is this? This is surah 55, ayah 14, okay, of the Quran. And it tells you that jinns, human men, we are made out of clay, okay? Uh, and jinns are made out of a smokeless flame. So, okay, and the way I understand that, if you, if anybody, ex-Muslims in the live chat, ex-Muslims in the live chat, tell me if this is what you understood as well uh, from your Islamic studies. The way I understand it is that there's only three self-aware um, beings made by Allah. Humans, angels, and jinns, Okay. And according, so humans are made out of dust or out of clay, okay? And jinns, according to Quran, are made out of fire, a smokeless fire. Um, and angels are made out of light. So it's light, fire, and clay, okay? And jinn is kind of like a species of beings, okay? Um so kind of think like angels is like elves and humans as humans and jinns as like orcs or something like that right um so jinn is like a huge category of beings so it's not like christianity where which the, the devil like iblis or lucifer or the devil the, the main devil he was a jinn he was from this species so it's kind of like, in, it's not like Christianity where the devil is like a fallen angel because angels are not made out of flame. Angels are made out of light. So gen, so the species that the devil share doesn't, is the, the species that the devil is, it's not, he's not a form, he's not an angel. Okay. So, but to make it more relatable to Christianity, what happened is that I've seen some Muslims saying that um, even though the devil was not an angel, he was such, before he fell from grace, before he started disobeying Allah for not, um, you know, bowing to Adam, he was such a good jinn. He was such a good, uh, he was very obedient. He was like a top general like a very like a, the best worshiper of Allah and his ego was getting so high right but he was so good and it was so high that he he got to the ranks of better than many angels so he was kind of like angel even though he was not an angel he was so good that he outranked angels that's what happened okay um Marco is saying stop being hateful and start having sex it's one of those things that can really help to make you a happy person. Marcos giving us sex advice with a super chat. Five euro super chat by Marco. Thank you so much, Marco. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Marco, you're spending too much on super chats. You're spending so much money. You better be rich or you shouldn't be spending this much on super chats. But I really appreciate. Thank you so much for your help. Um, okay, so that's the Quran. Again, this is based on the Quran. It's not even hadith, okay? So this is like, you can't question this. In, in the, you can't question the fact that this is Islamic, okay? And let me see what else the Quran. Again, this is Quran, Surah 7, uh, Ayah 27, saying, All children of Adam, let not Satan, okay? So let's actually, let's look at this. Before the Ayah that I said, before Jinn, you can see that, yeah, this is Jinn right here. Men nar nar is shade nar is like uh, fire right men means from fire okay um but here here's an interesting satan okay so if you see satan it's shaitan right here it's shaitan in singular so when the shaitan is singular it's the, the shaitan right so this is like shaitan like the main guy the men the lucifer guy right the iblis guy all children of adam let not shaitan tempt you as he removed your parents from paradise. So parents, this is referring to Adam and Eve. So it was Shaitan who made Adam and Eve live, leave paradise, right? Um, stripping them from their clothing to show them their private parts. 
indeed he sees you he and his tribe oh here's it his tribe okay so we're now talking about his people his tribe from where you do not see them indeed we have made the devils you can see the devils is plural here okay allies to those who do not believe so now this is us we we who no, do not believe we are apparently allies to the devils and these the, these devils are the tribe that Satan belongs to. So let's look at the terminology, right? So if you look at the devils, it doesn't say, it doesn't refer to jinns. When you look at the devils, it refers in Arabic to shayateen. So when you look at Satan, it refers to shaitan, but the devils is shayateen, right? So when, so it's when a singular is refers to Lucifer or Iblis, it's basically that guy, but it's, when it's not singular, when it's plural, is referring to the tribe that Satan belongs to. But nowhere do you see jinn here, right? So people are like, where, what's the relationship between jinns and devils, right? Uh, and the interesting thing is because there's no uh, here, you could see a full condemnation of these the devils. Like these are bad people, right? But jinns, the the Quran never talks badly about jinns as a whole this much, like this. Because the devils are of the jinn species, but the devils are all bad, but not all jinns are bad. Do you understand? So the devils are the jinns who are evil because they, they are loyal to Satan. So shayateen are the jinns who are evil, but not all jinns are evil. The way I, I learned about this in school was that humans and jinns they both have good people and bad people angels they don't have bad people because angels even though they're self-aware they don't have free will so they have no choice but to do the allah's command so they don't really have good or bad right uh so they don't have free will but so from among the three conscious beings being angels uh jinns and humans only two of them has free will and that because those two have free will, only those two have the uh, have the potential of going to heaven and hell. Uh, the angels, because they don't have free will, they're kind of like you know, like slaves of Allah. Um, I mean, technically they're all slaves. So everybody is a slave of Allah in their ideology. But uh, because the angels don't have any choice, uh, they can't get punished or rewarded for their actions, right? Um, <laughs> I should say the blue guy from Aladdin is chill. Yeah, that's a that's an example of one of the good jinns, I think. Actually, I don't know. He, I never see him. No, he's not because I never see him. Saw genie from Aladdin do the salat. So I never saw him do his five. He wasn't Muslim because he never did his prayers. So no, he's gonna go to hell too. Um, but again, see when when they were all being condemned, it wasn't referred. And again, we are part of. We're these devils, these shayateen, they're part, they're our friends. Look, see, they're allies with those who do not believe. They're talking about us, guys. This is us. So these are these devils are our allies. All right, let's look at this one. This is again another Quranic verse, Surah 51, Ayah 56. Um, it's saying, Oh. And I did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship me. So you can see that both jinn and mankind, their mere, their the entire purpose of creating mankind and jinn was the worship of Allah. That means there are jinn. So now you can see that here, this is jinn, right? This is jinn. Now when we're talking about jinn, we're not talking about them all being evil because some of them actually do end up worshiping Allah, right? So let's look at here. Is this jinn or shayateen? Oh, this is jinn, okay? Um, again, this is another Quranic verse, uh, Surah 18, Ayah 50. It's saying, and mention when we said to the angels, uh, prostrate to Adam, and they prostrated, except for Iblis, okay? So this is weird a little bit because this was a message to the angels, but then it says, except for Iblis. But we know Iblis was, it says Iblis was a devil and the devils are jinns. So uh, there's a lot of quote-unquote scholarly Islamic work, work, work and try to explain because there seems like a contradiction here, right? 
because it seems like he's saying we told the angels to prophesy to Adam, and they all did except for Iblis. This kind of suggests like, wait, Iblis was part of the angels? So, and he's not supposed to be part of the angels. Iblis is like Lucifer, right? So I've seen a lot of justification, a lot of Islamic so-called scholars try to figure out to explain this. And the explanation that they come up with is what I told you earlier, that Iblis is probably, um, he, did, he was so good that he raised to the rank of angels, even though he wasn't an angel. Okay. Oh, look, he actually hears it. He was of the jinn and departed from the command of his Lord. Okay. So he was of the jinn. But this again, if he was of the jinn, then why is he saying we said to the angels and they said they all did except for Iblis? This seems like a, like, kind of like confused. Like, is, is, are, is there like, is the Venn diagram of angels and jinns? Does it collide in any like does it they're supposed to be mutually exclusive, right? They're supposed to be completely separate. But he's of the jinn, and yet you said except from Iblis. Maybe the Arabic Soha, help me with the Arabic here. Let me see. Uh if this is the angels, this is mean they process uh, you know, that's the Jude. You know, Allah Iblis, right? Except from the except Iblis. So it kind of here suggests that. At least was an angel, but he wasn't. He was a jinn. So, kind of maybe bad wording from the Quran. Oh yeah. So he is exactly. So Deborah is saying, but Deborah, this is exactly um, what I learned as well. He was the best of jinns, so Allah rewarded him and put him with the angels. Exact. That's what I learned as well. Again, this is not something that you see, but that's the explanation for this verse. So how could he be, you know, that he was like, he wasn't an angel, but he was so good that he was like, just got, yeah, except, yeah, Soha is confirming. The Arabic is being translated accurately here, except Iblis. 